Cause nobody touching the flow. They say you alone at the top. Well, it's gotta be lonely below. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully you can see these because I'm not lifting them up because I want to be surprised just like you, okay? We are talking about, drum roll please, what are people noticing about you? I was really going back and forth. I was like, do I want to do what are people noticing or what are people realizing? For some reason, I was leaning towards noticing. So semantics it means what you want it to mean but we are tapping into it to find out what are people currently noticing about you when i was meditating on this concept it was brought to me like a blossoming flower expansion growth layers being exposed if you will hello to everyone in the live chat sending you so much love so much life if you'd like to book a personal reading that'll be the first link in the description box once the live video is over second link is for patreon where i'm going to be more present most likely than the main channel or at least more present than i usually am on patreon um so make sure you join us over there okay 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 um group one group two Group three, group four. Group one, group two, group three, group four. One, two, three, and four. Pick a number one through four. Ooh, hello. I'm glad you made a live too. Thank you so much. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from. I am in La Florida, okay? Central La Florida. And it is 6.39 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm also repping my friend's shirt. I am obsessed, literally. Um, I will leave her link below, okay? I will also leave her link below. Yeah, it's windy in Florida today too. Very, very odd, very peculiar. Oh, Cape Town, I see why you never make a live. Time difference is brazy, isn't it? Australia in the building. Maryland. Atlanta. What do you do, boo? We got Iowa. Okay. North Europe, where it's nighttime. Hello. We got cold in Boston. Okay. Shout out to Tallahassee. That's where I went to school. I know all about Tallahassee. Okay. Okay. What's up, Canada? I always get love from Canada. Oh, Canada. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> All right, we have group one, two, three, and four. I'll give you some time to meditate on that. Canada's like, girl, please don't do that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Times to zamps, please. Uh, oh, there it is, four groups. Let me know what group are you picking to find out what people are noticing about you, like, oh, I just noticed this about them. Huh. Why have I never noticed this before? Why have I never noticed this before? I'm giving you guys some time while I get some shiz together. Group one, two, three, four. Let me know which one you're feeling drawn to. Where is it? Where is it? Hello. Is it over there? Let me use this light. Where is it? I could have sworn. I thought that I made your home over here. I moved you. Apparently so. Well, if I can't find you, that just means that I wasn't meant to find you, baby. I'm going to check one more spot, though. Y'all let me know which group you're picking. One, two, three, or four. One, two, three, four. I'll be right back. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Five, six, seven, eight. Who do we appreciate? Me. Where is it? wanted to use that deck. No, I think actually that I'm going to 
be a little bit stubborn and look for the deck for real because where the heck? Oh, there's there's nowhere. What? What? Is right there. Okay. Y'all didn't see that. Y'all didn't see that. No, you didn't witness that at all. You didn't. You don't even know what's going on. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. All right, you guys. You know where this shit about to go. Whoa, whoa. Because nobody's touching the flow. They say you alone at the top. Well, it's got to be lonely below. I'll make sure I put a timestamp so that you can just get straight to it. If you're tuning in here, I'll make sure I'll put the time stamp of where the where the reading starts. <sighs> okay. Say you alone at the top, but it's gotta be lonely below. You boys getting ready to diss. Okay, stop. I put that song on my last Instagram picture. That's why I'm singing it, y'all. My bad. <laughs> okay, how do I wanna do this? I'm gonna, this one is a signifier. That's gonna be how I open up. Okay, yeah, thank you. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let me know what group you decided to pick. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. Group number one. Let's go ahead and find out what are people noticing about you, darling? So the card that you picked is New Moon in Aquarius. Bring love into the situation. I'm hearing the word constituents. Define constituents. Being a part of a whole, being a voting member of a community or organization and having the power to appoint or elect. Okay, so a person of influence or power is what they're noticing about you. You are the people's person um you're likable you're maybe even lovable dare i say they're noticing that not only do they like and love you but just in general people like and love you okay i'm really getting like this voting vibe like um the people's person like the people's choice let's go ahead and see here like like you might not be like the the societal one that's pushed forward but you have the ones that actually matter like the people on your side like the people like you okay talk to me about what are people noticing about my group number one for some of you okay so this group here um you could have some sort of like social media following um or you could have some sort of a a this could even be physical. Like I'm seeing like people gathering together. Um, this could be for meditation, prayer, church, um, politics, uh, recycling, just having conversations like therapy, things of that nature. What are people noticing? What are people noticing about my group number? ones yeah like you have control over people people listen to you people like you people love you um people could even be kind of obsessed with you or like or people could be noticing that they are kind of obsessed with you or like they really want to know what you're doing where you're going how you're feeling yeah ten of wands some people could feel overwhelmed so pe some people are noticing that they feel overwhelmed by um just your energy your presence but not because of your fault like it's not your fault it's like they're noticing that they're thinking about you a lot or they're thinking about you more or they like they're noticing that they want to reach out to you or they something like this here 
talk to me. Yeah, like, okay, so people are noticing that they're thinking about you more in their alone time or in their alone time, they're thinking about how you are growing together or how they're growing to love you, how they're growing to adore you. So people are noticing that they are growing into loving, liking, adoring you. Yeah, the hanged one, you are definitely on people's minds for sure here. What are people noticing about my group? number ones I, it's so crazy the way that the holy spirit works because i just happened to look out the corner of my eye as i was seeing the after end of a car driving by and i was thinking like oh like they like when they're watching you leave they're just like damn i can't wait to see them again there's something like that here and the knight of wands comes out it's one of those vibes where you like you invigorate invigorate people um, you make them feel alive. You make them feel revved up. You have energy for sure. Uh, the type of energy that lingers. Okay. You also, um, people are noticing that you make them think like the things that you say, it makes them think, um, you are thought provoking, intriguing, inspiring. Okay. I'm seeing you like being personified by a light bulb. Well, that's not personifying. You are the person personification of a light bulb. So group number one is to light bulb as light bulb is to group one like you are light okay you are light bulb what is this okay so people are noticing your class your standards yeah like this untouchable vibe about you like there's like a shield or a light or some sort of protection around you People really feel like they want to get to know you, though. See, like, there's that Eight of Swords. Like, the, the, them thinking about you here. Let's see. Um, they could be noticing that you like Michael Jackson. That's something that I'm getting here. We have the Six of Pentacles. Um, and it's, it's... I don't know the way that I just shared the six of pentacles because I didn't really like share and like say like here it is right here so you are very forthright um I wanted to say outstanding but it's like upstanding like you are honest okay again the people usually go towards people that are honest you're real you're relatable um you are flexible as well like I'm hearing the word fluctuate so like you're dynamic basically okay What are people noticing about group number one? Okay, so they could be noticing your new clothes or your new style, okay? You could have got a new phone. Uh, you could have got some new jeans. You could have got some new hair. You could have got a new purse. You could have got a new ring. Um, but people are noticing that you're like... Uh, it's like they're looking at you thinking that you're balling out of control is literally the, the term that I'm hearing here. Let me know if you're familiar, familiar with that term. I'm from the South Florida. It's not a real, not South Florida. I'm from the South, comma, Florida. Although I'm well aware that Florida is not like the real South, but, you know, we're still in the South. Like we're literally as far South as you can go. We got some Southern tendencies now. Don't get it twisted, boy. <laughs> okay, anyways. What are people noticing about you? I was just about to say, you could be like funny or just like, again, like you're nice to talk to, okay? Like, again, there's like this popularity vibe to you. Um, but it's interesting because in this imagery, it looks like sad, morbid. And actually that matches this void card here. But you don't have a sad energy. I need to dive a little bit deeper into that, like sadness. Oh, it could have to do with this. This. Oh yeah, the de the longing, the desire. When you're not there, people are noticing that they want to see you, feel you, hear you, breathe you. Okay, like people liking you, dog. Sorry, if you don't like me touching my hair, you can leave. <laughs> but yeah, that's what they're noticing is that um, they like your energy when you're not there. They're really wishing that you are there, that they could call you, that they could talk to you. Oh yeah, both of these images here, they're talking on the phone, okay? You're very entertaining or they like to talk on the phone with you, okay? Or they wish that they could talk on the phone with you. 
I'm hearing that song. Is that Nelly? If you wanna go and take a bow for me, it's you to the hood with the Lizzie's a why. Plus, I live this way. Hey, must be the money. If you wanna go and get with me, in and in and in and in and in me. Is that Ride With Me? I think so. I'll try to remember to link that for you. Oh, uh, so yeah, like there's this, like, you're people are noticing that you're the kind of person that you like travel with, you go on a trip with. Um, hmm, deep conversations with. I'm gonna pull from the yogic path. I love this deck. This deck is so beautiful. This is like a I, this is one of my most sacred decks, which is why I rarely use it, but I might try to use it more. But I really like to read from the guidebook because when I tell you, you'll just you'll experience magic when I pull it out. Let's see, a closing card for you. What are people noticing about my group number ones? Kalima. And we have Atman at the bottom of the deck. Talk to me, Kali. Oh, let me show you guys the imagery. Yeah, and like, this makes a lot of sense with the, the desire when you're not there with the Kalima. Kalima. Kali. Let's see, what page is Kali? I like to I like to close the reading with a reading, you know, it's nice. 99, okay, so that could be a relevant number as well. You know, like 99 is right before that big one, honey. Taking over for the 99 in the 2000s, you know, that kind of vibe. Okay, so Kali, Kali. Goddess of destruction, dissolution, and ecstasy. You draw upon Kali when you are in a time of radical rebirth, okay? So that takes me to these clothes here, this appearance that I was talking about. You could be like rag radically, I was gonna say ragically, like rags to riches. Rags to riches, rags to riches, rags to riches. I don't really know that song. I'm not gonna link that one. You could look it up if you want to. Riches, whatever he said. She is fierce, erratic, untamed, and the part of you that you are afraid to give full control because you don't know where it will take you. Again, that flexibility. She will destroy all disillusion and bring you face to face with your darkest shadows, not to cause anguish, but rather from a deep place of love. Like, people are noticing that you don't go out of your way to people please or to fulfill fantasies. Um you're not in a box you come as you are you're full of thoughts you're full of angst some may call it anger but me as your reader i know it's not anger it's passion she demolishes the ego that creates the boundary between you and your highest self she is the ecstasy experience in an orgasm meditation bold self-expression or pushing a child out of the womb Mm, powerful. Kali comes to you in a time of deep liberation, stepping into the truer form of you. Trust the process and allow yourself to release all limitations so you can become one with the bliss that you are. So people are noticing that you're not people pleasing. You're stepping out of a shell or you've been out of a shell but i really feel like it's more of a stepping out again because i told you that at the very beginning this reading is like a it was presented to me in meditation as like a blossoming kind of energy like a flower blooming showing more layers okay um especially again i keep going back to this it's like the clothes i don't know like did you recently like re-up your wardrobe or like change your your phone your jeans your hair or your something something like this here um but this is all that i have for you do you guys want to do a keyword let me know in the live chat y'all want a keyword the first one that i see yes or no is getting it yes or no yes or no to keyword no or yes to keyword the first word that i see is going to be the one yes or no to keyword yes so y'all like the keywords is what I'm getting here. Okay, so it's a lot of yeses. Okay, yes. Thank you. Keyword for group one. 
simplicity. You just simply are you. You simply exist in all of your colors, in all of your truth. And that could be even the parts that some people might not like about you or some people might think uh, is ugly about you. But the thing is, is that it's truth. Um, I It's this quote, I'd rather be disliked for who I am than to be liked for who I am not. Something along those lines, okay? That's the vibe that you're giving off and this is what people are noticing about you. Thank you for tuning in. Let's go ahead and get into the next group. Group number two. Group number two. Let's see, what is your moonology card? Why do I keep picking them up that way? The answers you need are coming. A full moon in Jiminy. Jim Jiminy, Jim Jiminy, Jim Jim Jerry. Is that a Christmas song? I don't know. Um, full moon in Gemini. The answers you need are coming. Let's see here. What are people noticing about my group? Number twos. What are people noticing about my group? Number twos. Okay, so I'm seeing something about 9,000 or like nine or something like this. Some Okay, for some of you, people could be noticing that um, something is going up. Like, or like if you have a following, this would be talking about your, your, your count, your views or something like this here. Um, if it's not that, it could be like, it doesn't even have to be like going up, but like numbers in relation to either health excuse me, something like that. People are noticing your numbers, okay? For some of you, it's like you're either losing or gaining weight, okay? Um, let's see. Ah, also with the answers you need are coming. This could also have to do with um, your birthday, your age. Um, people could be learning about this, okay? Um, because I'm seeing like your face. They're trying to put an age to the face or a name to the face. There's something here like people are noticing. So this feels, it could be at any level, like any depth. Like they, they either, they could have just uh, noticed what your name is. Um, or they could have just noticed how old you are. They could have just noticed how much you weigh. Or they could have just noticed what your blood sugar is. You know, stuff like that. Okay. We have, wait, it is not yet time. Things are being woven. Yeah, like basically what people are noticing is that their questions about you are being answered. I feel like this is new. This is fresh, um, especially with like this Gemini energy. It, it gives me like social butterfly. These could be people that are getting to know you, whether they're new or old. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, lots of blue here as well. Um, blue. It's like I could say the throat shocker, but it's not giving that. Something about blue is relevant. Some of you could drive a blue car or they could notice that you look good in blue. Okay. Something about blue. Maybe it'll come forth. Um, let's see here. Are there notice? Oh, this could be like, maybe it's your favorite color. That's what they're noticing about you. But there's this vibe where it's like people are noticing that they're literally noticing that they're learning more about you, period. That's it. Whether this is something deep or shallow, they're just noticing that they're learning more about you. Okay, this could be people that you're um, dating or people that are interested in courting you, okay? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, they're noticing that the more that they learn about you, the more that they like you, love you. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. The sun. Six of swords. Yeah, like just this is what I'm talking about. Like just y'all are coasting. You're okay. So also people are noticing that you're like, you're cool, calm, collected. That's could That could be also what that blue was all about as well. 
yeah, you're calming, you're comforting, you're welcoming, you're like a ray of sunshine. Maybe I'm gassing you up, maybe, but maybe it's true. Like this is just, this is a vibe uh, down to earth. But it's, it's interesting because it's not giving down to earth. Like how could, like, how could you say like, like they're like down the river, like, like flowing with the river, like down to earth is equal to flowing with the river, but you are more so flowing with the river type of feeling as opposed to down to earth. But it means the same thing, but the feeling is a little different. Like, you know, like uh, to feel like someone's grounding you, you're not moving, you're anchored. But to feel like someone is like going with the flow and like you're flowing with them, you know, like just vibing, I, I guess. I don't know how else to describe that. Let's see. What are people noticing about my group number twos? What are people noticing about my group number twos? Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, like you could like water. Um, that you could be like someone who likes to enjoy fun in the sun. Uh, maybe you like to be near rivers, lakes, ponds, oceans, streams, pools, etc., etc. Waterfalls. Okay. Okay, so they're noticing, they're taking notice of your lifestyle. Lifestyle. If you know the song, then you know why I'm saying it like that. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'll, I'll try to remember to link that for you guys down below. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. What are people noticing about my group number twos could be your blue eyes maybe someone just noticed your blue eyes or they like complimented your blue eyes or like blue brings out your eyes or oh, okay for some of you it's a picture or something where someone saw you in blue this okay so we got sunrise and again look at that by the water and also i already showed you this one the beach i can't make this up y'all i can't make it up look at the holy spirit moving moving and then we have focus watch a movie that you like your life is like a movie or like you're like a movie star or you're just people like to watch you even if like you, you, cause I'm saying like you have like the most chill life, but it's like a chill movie or something that people want to watch or people want to tune into or people like. What else here? Oh, also people are noticing that you're becoming their favorite. Okay. Like, uh, you're like, how would that, you're growing on people or people are yeah, you're growing on people or something like that. Again, I kind of already said that when I said that they're liking you more. Basically, the more that they see, the more that they like. This is what they're noticing. Oh my gosh. When I tell you, God is amazing. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Because, okay, first of all, grounded. I talked about the being down to earth root chakra here okay root is the um like literally the grounding chakra and what have i been talking about this whole time there's the water in the background the ocean if i'm being honest y'all i've never seen this card come out before i don't think i've ever seen this card i don't think i've ever seen this card before so especially if you're on social media people have never seen you before but they really like you okay now I'm so sorry to my to my to my people that made this deck into the culture, but I don't know how to pronounce this word and I'm not even this one I'm not even gonna try. Well, I'm gonna let you see it. But I'm not even gonna try. Okay? 
and I want to read this straight from the book because this deck is so sacred to me and the explanation is just you know beautiful so let's pull it up page 107 that number could be relevant to you 107 this card says goddess of space and infinite possibilities you have learned the art of creating space and are experiencing the cosmos that exists inside of you insert word here comes to you in deep meditation in profound nature in oceans and in silence i love when it just that's why i love this deck because like it's going to say everything that i just said but in its own way and i pulled the card after beautiful we were talking about oceans and flowing her stillness guides you to enter deeper into the cosmic web of potentials that exist for you in the present moment. Continue making time for whatever brings you to a point of total stillness. That is where your true self resides. Know that you are not just part of the earth, but earth is also a part of you and you are lovingly held by her presence. Y'all, they talked about the ocean and earth right here. The ocean and earth right here. It's so beautiful. We talked about you being like the river and also equivalent to being grounded or down to earth. Okay, absolutely marvelous. Um, also, as I was reading that, um, what was coming to me too is what people are noticing is you could find joy in the quote unquote mundane, if you will. Um, what some people may think is boring, you find it peaceful. You're not the type to mistake peace for boredom. And this is what someone is noticing about you. Oh, I said someone. Okay, so someone, but you know how to bring joy to the mundane, find joy and peace, as opposed to creating chaos for action. <sighs> You could, you just, you make people want to take a bath, uh, relax, go on a spa day, get a massage, chill out. This is what they're noticing about you, okay? Oh, let me pull a keyword for you guys. Let me pull a keyword. Open-mindedness. And that is the solar plexus chakra. Okay. Oh, and you have the sun here. So, oh, and also interesting because like this imagery, she's holding the moon right where the solar plexus would be. So there's a very balanced energy about you. Um, you bring life where there is rest. Mm, beautiful. I love this. I love how poetic this reading is coming out here. God is amazing. Thank you for joining us, darling. Let's go ahead and get into the next group. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Group number three. Group number three. The number three is true to my group number threes because you have two threes in your timestamp. All right, so you, are you kidding me? Group number three, as I'm just talking about the number three, you have third quarter moon. Adjustments are required. Three. So threes are relevant. I don't know why that made me think of birds. Okay, so birds could be like, excuse me, extremely relevant to you, for you. Shoot, some of y'all might be scared of birds, but you you don't have to be. It's okay, you know. Is it? Thank you. Let's see here. Uh, give me a moment because I see that the live chat is getting a bit chaotic with people that think that they know everything. Lord, I pray in the mighty name of the name of Jesus that you will please cast away the demons of these people that are trying to control us and tell us what to do and how to live and how to worship and how to exist. Thank you in the mighty name of the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, grace this reading and block out their energies. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Let's 
giving plot twist. Oh, ooh, 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 it's giving plot twist. Okay, what's going on here? What are people noticing about my group number threes? Ooh, uh, you know, usually I don't take the cards on the floor, but that just feels right. Mmm, 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 mmm. Okay, so people are noticing that they can't tell you what to do. I don't know if this could be someone who's tried to give you advice. Now, for some of you, it it could be a sense of stubbornness, but I'm kind of getting this vibe where it's like people are noticing that they don't want to tell you what to do because they want to see what you'll do because they like it. You kind of, people are noticing that you kind of make them want to try things your way. Give me some time here with my group number threes, please. Ah, okay, people are noticing that you're making the impossible happen or you're like doing the impossible or you're defying odds. Okay, so for a lot of you, you could have like reached a goal recently or you're reaching goals, period, or something like this. For this group, this color is very relevant, like this teal color. The word honorary is coming through here. And that's a word that some people try to use as like a diss. You could take it how you want to. It's like almost kind of parallel to the word stubborn. But if someone calls me stubborn, I take that as a compliment because it means that I'm not easily swayed. Which again, there's something about that here about you. But it's like, you, it's your spirit. It's not your flesh that is honorary or stubborn you're strong spirited strong willed you have a a force about you yeah you're like a force of nature people are noticing that you are a force to be reckoned with y'all i feel the spirit i feel it they always be touching my damn head love y'all but damn <laughs> okay <laughs> let's see here hmm. people are noticing that you are blessed um, like ancestral energy is coming through here. Um, you know, they always talk about like honoring those that come before you. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this deceased loved ones. Okay. Ancestors. People are noticing that ancestors are shifting your life or shifting in your favor. Y'all. I can feel it in the atmosphere. The presence of the Lord is here. That's what it's giving. Okay. So you've got powerful ancestors. Like right now, they just, they all up on me, dog. They all up on me. They all up on me. Bottom of the deck, the two of cups. Yeah, they love you. Spirit loves you. That's what people are noticing. <laughs> Five of swords. No matter how they feel about you, spirit loves you. God loves you. Angels, ancestors love you. That's what is kind of like making them like do a double take because they're like, wait, how are they favored? And they're doing what they should not be doing according to my word. You notice I said my word, like a human saying that, like, how are you doing that? We're not supposed to be doing that because I said you're not supposed to be doing that. What are you doing? You know, but it's like, if they're not being bitter or angry, they like slow down and pay attention. You're like this, you're, people are noticing basically, People are noticing that you're making them stop and think and consider something that like, especially when it comes, you know, like, we'll keep it simple. Christians, like typical Bible hugging Christians that love to judge other people. If you don't live like them, even though they're not even perfect, they're sinners themselves. They're looking at you and wondering, how are you blessed? How are you favored? How are you this? How are you that? Because you're not perfect. Like me is what they're giving. How are you like, 
but it's making them stop and think like, damn, well, maybe God does love them too. It's like, duh, dummy. Sorry, my flesh had to, like, I wanted to say something even meaner than that. It's like, okay, I'm hearing that song. And who do you think you are? Running around leaving scars, collecting your jar of hearts and tearing love apart. You're gonna catch a cold from the ice inside your soul. So you're making people notice their own cold heartedness. So you're cracking open, open people's heart chakras. Sorry, let me put that song down, hold on. Is that Christina Grimmie? If so, RIP. She actually passed away at a concert in my city. Rest in peace to her. Um, sick world, sick world that we live in. Okay, but anyways, I know there's better. Better days, oh yeah, brighter days, brighter days, br and like new earth right here. As I'm saying, there's brighter days. It's happening, keep holding the vision. Brighter days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so people are noticing their lack of love, of life, self, you, whatever. We have share, invite friends to your home. This, uh, this you know those stories, I've always wanted this. I'm going to say it. I've always, you know how some people say like, yeah, like Jesus, like I prayed, 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 prayed. And Jesus came to my door, like they, they hear knocking and then they go to the door and there's nobody there. But then a spirit comes in, y'all. I know that it would scare the living shit out of me, but Lord Father God up in heaven, please do that for me. I want to experience that so bad. Like, and I'm declaring, like, I want to be so shook by the spirit of Jesus. Like, I'm not even kidding. I'm not kidding. But there's something here about, like, um, people noticing that they want to share their space with you or you, or they want you to share your space with them. I want to experience that so bad, y'all. I want to experience but it's like you know like i've asked for it so many times and it's never happened it's probably because god is like girl if you did that you would shit your pants and then you would come see me because you would die probably <laughs> probably you probably right we have get away drink wine see yeah like they always say that like jesus comes through the door like after the knock and they open the door for the spirit of jesus and then he sits down and has a meal with them or like you know like jesus was down with the wine too like turning water to wine mm. Mm. some magic in this reading we have smoothly and smile You're joyous. You're full of people are noticing that you okay. You could also be funny too. This is something that people are noticing. Like they're like, hey, wait, this person's kind of funny. I'm like, shut the fuck up. I knew that already. Sorry, y'all. Again, my flesh. Don't blame spirit for my bullshit, please. <laughs> okay, let's see here. <laughs> I cracked myself up. I cracked myself up. All right, let's see here. could be seeing tigers oh yeah lions and tigers and bears oh my but lions and tigers specifically big cats uh, or cats in general because we have the lions there and then we have damas with the white tiger i don't know why i'm saying liger like a lion and a tiger haven't hasn't that happened before like a, a lion and a tiger bred they breeded collaborated they collaborated <laughs> okay let's see here i'm gonna pull this out um i love and adore this deck if you want to invest in a deck this one i wish it was sponsored but it's not um a yogic path this deck is so beautiful that's why you rarely ever see me use it on camera because i just adore it it's sacred to me but it it's time for her to talk to you guys too okay let's see it's so magical 41 41 page 41 the number 41 could be relevant to you it says density dullness and inertia that's what people are noticing about themselves that they're like lacking life that they're lackluster 
that's what they're noticing about themselves because of your life, your fun, your joy, your existence, period. You are in a period of hibernation, which is sometimes needed to blossom into a butterfly. Your body is between lines of a poem, notes of a song, steps of a dance. Use this time to fully rejuvenate your system, allowing proper rest and food. Know when it is time to emerge from your cocoon and show the world the gifts you have been cultivating. Stillness is only balanced when followed by action. So people are also noticing that you not only talk the talk, you walk the walk. There's pep in your step. Mm, yeah, people are noticing that you're also livening up. Either you are livening up or you are livening them up. Take it as it resonates. Let me get a keyword for my group number three. Oh, I almost dropped it. I would cry. Please don't do that. <laughs> Please because then it would all spill. Okay, what is this? Empathy, sacral chakra, exactly. Empathy is when you can finally see beyond your own dense ass fucking brain. Again, that's my flesh, sorry. I'm not really sorry though. I, 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 I like to curse sometimes. It's a part of my sins. Anyways, sacral chakra, empathy, relatability. You, You, okay, so people are noticing that you inspire them to shut the fuck up and pay attention. Listen. Take a hit sometimes. I don't know. There's something here about like people are noticing that they have to take an L with you. But it's like the kind of L that like, like basically they like throw a punch at you and somehow they end up punching themselves in the face and then they knock themselves out and they got to take that hit. They got to take that L and do what it do yeah okay so like when they try to take a hit at you or whatever like it doesn't touch you you're untouchable in a way this is also what people are noticing about you too and that shows your spiritual strength which makes them question confirmation burp it makes them question everything themselves life tragedy anyways until next time take care be well darling if you'd like to book a personal reading let me know by booking one with me it's the very first link in the description box once this live video is over and now i'm off to group number four darling group number four you could be seen repeating sevens group number four you could also be getting a text message like right here right now um or something don't let pride get in your way full moon in leo it's so crazy. Let me find out that Lexi the Leo picks this group because like I'm using, I was with my, with my British accent and also the Leo, you know, like it would be crazy if, if she picked this group. But anyways, I like to think that my British accents, I know that I use like a whole bunch of different British accents, but I would like to think that they're pretty spot on. I might not convince a Brit, but I might be able to convince someone else, you know? <laughs> anyways. What are people noticing about my group number four? So what are people noticing about my group number four is don't let pride get in your way. Full moon and Leo, child of, the cos child of the cosmos. Okay, so people could be noticing that you talk really fast, okay? Uh, child of the cosmos, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. Okay, you have a lot of eff uh, effort. What? Uh, okay. You Okay, but yeah, you have a lot of effort in you. You have a lot of drive. Uh, you, have, you have a lot of energy. Um, you have a lot of life. You have a lot of, I want to say answers, but... You have a lot of soul. You have a lot of thought-provoking feelings. Something like that. You, you be making some points. Activated earth, power, places, ley lines, trust where you are led. People are noticing that they're like researching things or looking things up because of you. Like, okay, again, Lexi the Leo is coming through like really big here. Um, Cause she talks about Lumeria I, often. I don't know about often, but I feel like when I'm thinking of Lumeria, I'm like, oh, I feel like Lexi the Leo is like one of the first people that I ever heard talking about Lumeria. Um, something about that is relevant. 
earth pulsing pulse of the mother slow down time and nature but technically it got pushed to the back the age of light you've been training for this for lifetimes exactly old soul people are noticing that you you have a lot of wealth knowledge uh depth yeah and a strong intuition and there's something activating about you captivating about you ace of cups two of pentacles the strength card damn yeah a lot of leo energy here and the knight of pentacles Okay, so yeah, 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 yeah. Big on Leo energy here because like people are noticing that you have a big heart. Something like that. Sounds cliche, but I feel like you know why I'm saying this. There's something that's recently occurred here that leads people to see or believe that you have a really big heart. You're really loving. You're really open. You're really kind. Um, I'm hearing the word flourishing. Okay, for some of you, this is about your hair. Heal, but technically it kind of came in the reverse help those in distress yeah like you it's interesting that it came in the reverse here because it's like you do this why is it reversed oh because you don't need a show made about you just to say that you are helpful you don't need the attention to like you don't have to have on a uniform to be a hero not all heroes wear capes boom that that is what they're noticing about you is that not all heroes wear capes you're the reason why people come up with sayings like that like you're really helpful you're really discerning you're really intuitive look at this sincere and separation and it's a phone on the separation card so it makes me feel like people could be miles away from you these could be your friends that might have picked up and moved or they're traveling. But there's a deep connection with you, okay? You could have some sort of a social media presence. You don't have to, but no matter if it's big or small, like you are, you're deeply connected. I only want one at a time though. I was gonna say, um, I was gonna say like, Although all of this is true, there's still a hesitancy about you. People are noticing that you you have an open heart and you're loving and you're giving, but you're slow to give certain parts of you or certain aspects or not even slow to give. It's just like, how do I put that into words? It's like... You just, you move slower. Like you don't, exactly. I was saying that you don't need a show or you don't need, um, you don't need, you know how some people, they go out of their way to like be giving and open and helpful just to prove that they are. You don't give just to prove that you're giving. You give when you feel that it's necessary. So you might not be out here like helping any and everybody, but when you do, it's big mystery and also could be anonymous see yeah i was talking about like you don't need a show hmm yes don't let pride get in your way like when i think of pride i always think of like how you like put on a show or the mask that you wear for other people you don't feel the need to give yourself away selflessly just to prove that you are loving because you know that you are loving. Even if you don't give in the way that people think would label you as loving, you know yourself. So you give when you see it's necessary, not just because someone thinks that you should be giving or because it's obligated. Let's see. Uh, someone in the comments said they have to earn a spot, period. That's what I'm getting here. It's like, And the thing is, is that you say something like that and people are like, oh, you're arrogant. 
No, I just know that not everybody can afford me. I'm the Gucci bag on the top shelf, honey. I don't really care about name brands, but it's easier to relate in that way. You know, like I'm that that thing that the bottle on the top shelf that not everybody can access. You know, like if you can afford it, sure. And there's nothing wrong with that. You should not be accessible to everybody, period, ever. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. And that's the thing is like, that's the energy that you embody to where it's like, people are like, oh, you're not loving, you're not giving. Baby, say whatever you want to say because I know who I am. And I am all who you say I am. You say that I'm ugly, then that is the truth to you. You say that I'm giving, then that is the truth to you. It is what it is because the truth to me is not your truth and your truth is not mine. I'm hearing, they never had a pretty girl, and that's what they prefer. You know, Tyla, is that her name? Um, they never had a pretty girl like, I don't know the lyrics, but you know. Bottom of the deck is Buddha. And that card specifically talks about um like maybe i should read it to you i probably will fine okay but the one that actually came out for you prana i want to read the buddha card first and then we'll get into prana because oh because it's relevant one who is aware buddha let's get into it Buddha is not just one person, but anyone who has an aware and blessed soul. Right now, that is you. You have woken up to your true self and let go of the illusions that were blinding you to the material world. You have taken off the mask of security and given a good look into the vastness of your own soul. You have realized that nothing is inherently good or bad, but rather just is. You understand the non-dual nature of the world and are letting go of the judgments of the mind. Hold the knowledge that we are all Buddha nature and it's just, and it just takes remembering. So what I want you to take away from that is again, the concept of it just is one who is aware of self without having to prove it to others um, or without um, the mystifying judgments of the mind, letting them go. And the thing is, is the judgments in your mind are not even your own. They're literally only there because of judgments that have been projected unto you. If you never were presented with projections or judgments from others outside influence, you would never, ever, ever do that to yourself because that's not who you are at the core. You just are who you are. Oh, why did I close it? Prana. Where is it? 43, page 43. The number 43 could be relevant to you. Dang it. There we go. Prana. Subtle essence of vital life force and breath, flexible and creative. When you are pranaful, you are beaming with vital life force. I'm seeing like a, a lotus flower in my mind's eye, but it's like glowing. Like it's like sparkling and like shit is flying out of it like fairies and shit. Okay, energy flows easily throughout your body and you are at one with the divine consciousness. You dance through life with fluid movement and your energy extends out of your body felt by those surrounding you without you having to give it away just because they're there. To, to be around you is to experience your love, is to feel your love, is to feel your essence, is to feel. You don't have to give it, it just radiates off of you. You are in control of your breath and utilize it to move life force around you, bringing your mind, body, and spirit into balance. Continue to breathe into the light that exists within you. This is your connection to universal pranic energy. Some powerful shiz. Ah, this group here, we're not proving ourselves. We're not giving ourselves away just to prove that we're loving. We're not wearing a false mask that makes us look nice to people we're not wearing fake smiles just to look nice to people to prove a point because for what that is only dulling you and wasting your energy 
if you don't naturally want to smile, that says nothing other than you just don't want to use those face muscles. <laughs> you know, like it is what it is. We have inspiration is your keyword. Solar plexus chakra. Yes, it is. That is what you would call a people pleaser. Okay, solar plexus. We have inspiration. You are an inspiration. People are noticing that you are an inspiration just as you are. Not because you give this and you give the shirt off of your back. Fuck that. If that's not what you want to do, don't do that. Because God loves a joyful giver. Not someone who gives just because, oh, God, did you see that I gave that? Girl, shut the fuck up. Don't nobody care about that? <laughs> sorry. I'm not sorry. Anyways, that's all that I have for you guys. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Sending you so much love, so much life. And until next time, take care, be well. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Um, the energy's flowing really well, so I will be talking to my Talioness. So, Talians, I'm talking to you, Maria. Why you gonna do me like that? Um, okay, so. All right, so shout out to my Talians. Shout out to my Talians. Let's get it. Um, let's do the pick a card reading for my Talians and then we'll do the message that my Talians need to hear. I tell you need some damn water. Give me a second, y'all. My Talians understand. Give me a second. Hello. I do have music on Apple Music, but honestly, I've gone through a transformation and I'm different than the music that I have out right now. All right, Kayleans, I'm back. Shout out to India. Yep, the silent rating room, you already know. All right, so Talians, what are people noticing about my Talians? What are people, okay. What are people noticing about my Talians? A new start is coming, new moon, a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. Libriathan, I don't know why I said that. I'm trying to figure me out, we'll just give you a headache. Just don't do it. All right, let's see. What are, what are people noticing about my Talians? I need to get that out to move some energy. Let me be. Let me cook. Excuse me. Okay, so people are noticing that you are you're happy, you're content, you're shedding skin. Two of cups. Seven of cups. Uh, you it's like it's giving this vibe of like you're in love and people are like oh what's got you so cheery you know how people say shit like that like what's got you so chipper bitch because i'm alive sorry I, I, why did i even say that i don't know i don't know i don't know just whatever let's see here <laughs> what <laughs> what are people noticing about my aliens let's see regain memories pick up a stone you like and that fell on top of the seven of cups um it's feeling like a reunion okay so talians what are people noticing maybe like you're back to your old self or you're back to your light or there's something here about that Back to a powerful version of you. Yeah, open. Say hi to strangers. Oh, okay.
Okay, so people could be noticing that you're remembering that you like people, that you are sociable, that you are charismatic or like... When I say this, I don't mean like a people pleaser, but people are pleased by you. People, your people, like, your people pleasing. Not like you are a people pleaser, but like you are pleasing the people. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. You're pleasing the people's desires. Send a postcard to your friend is what this card says. That desire card came out in group number one. So you want to check out group number one, Talians. And I'm hearing that line, and that's what they prefer. That's that song by Tyla that I said for group number four. So my Talians were probably mostly drawn to group one and four, or one through four, because y'all be, y'all be just watching everything, which I appreciate so freaking much. You have no idea, okay? This card was facing down. That, like, literally, it was literally facing the opposite direction of every other card, so I have to take it. So let me get a bonus one. Oh. Calm down. What are people noticing about my Talians? I'm gonna put that at the bottom of the deck and that's how we'll take that. Okay. Yes, yes, bitch, what the fuck? If you had a feeling that someone was like trying to swap energies with you or take energy from you or something like this, I was getting a message like this the other day, but I try to avoid giving these kind of messages. Somebody tried to do a swap a or switch a Rooney and it worked for a little while or something like this here. Even if it was unintentional. Okay, let me just let me just read the card. Okay, the the one that we're reading is Neyamas. Neyamas. Let's see what that says. Let's read it. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Sixty-five. Sixty-five. Now, okay, if it's not like an actual switcheroo, like people try to take your light and it worked in a way, but it not anymore. Um laws of personal observance. You are beginning to reap the rewards of the inner transformational work you have done. And it's like, ah, soul retrieval. Regain memories. Soul retrieval. Open. Soul retrieval. However, it, it was dispersed. We're not going to get into the details. We're not going to point any fingers. We're not going to blame anybody. Because we're just glad that we are here all in one piece. Okay. Okay. This is just the beginning of a lifelong practice of personal observance. Tune into what your soul needs at this moment. You're your own soul mate. Excuse me. Confirmation burp. Tune into what your soul needs at this moment. There are, to are there toxins in your body and mind that need purity? Are you experiencing contentment for all the blessings you have been given? Are you using your disciplined energy to take you towards your divine purpose continue the practice of self-study there is always more that you'll find when you open up the pathway to your true spirit take some extra time for yourself each day to practice the celebration and contemplations of spirit so people are noticing that you're spending more time on yourself that you are sh again like i said shedding a skin soul retrieving Opening up to versions of yourself that you've always wanted to be, but maybe feared existing in. Okay. Um, the next one, Brahma. Page one twenty one is sixty five and one twenty one. Sixty five was the last one. Uh, one twenty one is the current. So those numbers could be relevant to you. They don't have to be. I'm just, just saying, Brahma. God of creation. It is time to create. Brahma. The creator. I don't know why I keep saying it like that. Don't judge me. The creator of the universe and all beings has come to you with the message that is now the time to bring that idea to fruition. What is that idea that you've been sitting on but haven't taken action? 
Now is the time to plant that seed into the earth and water it with your intention so it sprouts to life, benefiting all of those around you. Your dreams are not just for you to complete. It's good for everybody. You don't know it, but there's people waiting on you. Brahma's rosary symbolizes the time cycle through which the world moves from creation to sustenance, from sustenance to dissolution, from dissolution to new creation. Which cycle are you on? I'm going to read that last part again. The time cycle through which the world moves from creation to sustenance, from sustenance to dissolution, and from dissolution to new creation. Which cycle are you on? Keyword. Keyword. Childlikeness, heart chakra. So what are people noticing, love? Is that your, your, again, your inner divine light and divine purpose are aligned with your inner child. So your inner child is happy because you're following its guidance. You're listening to the kid. You're listening to the kid. You know, people are like, yeah, I'm the kid, I'm the boy, I'm the man, you know, like that. Like, you're listening to that energy within you. Like, you know how people are like, I'm him, I'm her, you know, something like that. Or like, I'm them. Like, you are her, you are him, you are them. Like, you the one. I'm the one, bitch, can't you see? I try to tell you, take a seat. That's my Talian song. That's what I'm talking about. That's a Tay Money song. I'm the one, can't you see? Try to tell you, take a seat. You can't sit with us. You can't, okay, anyways, let's not go there. Let's not go there. Now, Talians, what message do my Talians need to know? Ooh. Oh my gosh, Isabella, stop being a motherfucking hater and go pray, honey. You stop yapping. Don't make me start calling you names. Cause y'all know, as an Aries, give me an excuse to be mean and I'ma take it. ugly spirit itself get the fuck out of here i can't stand ugly spirited mean bitches like just get away from me am i bothering you then block me fuck anyway see i could be my i could be my true self with my talians you know Ugh. jesus anyways talking about stop yapping bitch you the only one yapping in this hole oh Anyways, thank you. What do my Italians need to know? A time for healing, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> uh. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. The color purple is relevant. Uh, amethyst. Getting back to basics is something that I'm getting right now. Yeah, amethyst, clear quartz, rose quartz. Your best friends at this time. Exactly. Why are the Christians in here? If you so Christian, leave. You better go before a demon comes and gets you. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see. We the Hathers, deep love, mother's milk, birth is a portal. Okay. Um, Talians there's like a group or an organization or a job or someone that's waiting on you or did i say that already yeah i said there's someone waiting on you or like in the i said that in the first portion i believe um but there's something here about like like a welcoming committee something like that perspective none of this matters zoom out common ground mm -hmm. this is the earth this is why I don't give a fuck about what people think of me because we are literally on a floating space rock in the middle of everything and nothing. Why do I care? Hmm. It's almost like a, a form, a new formation. Like a new island or a new planet. That's like the energy that I'm getting right now. Honey, I don't need to explain to you, because first of all, who the fuck do you think you are? I don't need to explain to you who or what I believe in, because at the end of the day, my beliefs 
I have to take it up to the one true God when I get to him. I'm not worried about what you think I believe in. So get lost. What do you believe in? Because at the end of the day, he's going to worry about what you've been doing, not what I've been doing. Anyways, twos. You could be seeing a lot of twos. Two of swords, two of wands. And the page of pentacles. And the hierophant. The hierophant. It's like people people literally think that they are walking Jesus on this earth. Like, who do you believe in? Bitch, who do you think you are? Because God doesn't like that prideful energy either. That judgmental energy either. Boo, bitch. It's airy season, ho. And here I am. Still here. Why? Why? Money, like, get out of here. And the reason why I'm spending time talking to them, y'all, is because I'm tired of keeping my mouth closed. Just like they run their mouth, I'm going to run mine. Let's go. Let's go. Because, baby, I got a yapper on me. Let's go. Because if it's a battle between tongues, bitch, I'm going to win. What you want to do? What? Thank you. Okay. So we have two cards that literally came out here. And they both say free. Right now, I feel as free as I can be. Because I don't care. I'm free from people's judgment. If... People think that I'm going to go to hell or if they want to know if I'm believing in Jesus, I don't care. I'm free from that. I am so free from that, y'all. And I really, really, really hope and do pray that you feel the same way. Because it's so liberating to just not give a single fuck. Because again, people cling on to religions and beliefs only to satisfy each other. But God knows your true heart, your true essence. So if you're trying to convince these people what you believe in, that's not developing a relationship with God. You proving who or what you believe in is not freeing you with these people because what the fuck can they do for you? Nothing. The only thing on this earth that can do anything for you is the spirit of God. And the spirit is everywhere. So y'all remember that, okay? Do not try to prove yourself to people. You know, sometimes you got a little extra time to like go back and forth and yip and yap and yada, yada, yada. And that's okay. I'm not faulting you for that. People always say, oh, don't waste your energy, baby. I got, my energy is never wasted. Why? Because I am divinely guided by the one true God that gives me breath every single day. Every day that I'm here is another day that I can fight, period. So what you want to do? Thank you. What do you want to do? Sip on that tea. Drink tea quietly. Sip on that. Go pray on that. Thank you. Okay, Talians. Like I was saying, honey, there's a new formation, a new island, a new planet, a new luxury, a new ecstasy, a new place to exist. I don't know, like... Some of y'all, it could be about like a new work, office, a new home, apartment. Uh, for some of you, it's like a room being renovated or opening up. This is, how do I just like it? I said that there's like someone opening up a room for you or something. Or like for some of you, if you have like businesses, uh, what, what is that called? Where you like rent a room for your business. Like if you do hair, you rent a room in a in a building. There's something like that going on here, okay? Um, or for some of you, like if uh, free free range is like your 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 divine desire, um, like if you want a a camper, uh, like if you want to travel for a living or something like this here, um, but it's like something is manifesting or like poofing up out of nowhere popping up out of nowhere there's something that's gonna seem like it's popping up out of nowhere for you but it's not out of nowhere it's like a, it's a, i want to say it's a manifestation but you know manifestation is not just like poof pal i get everything that i want no like this is something that's been 
thought of, considered, conceived, created. I said conceived. And then remember, we have the Hathers, deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal. Conception. What group was that? Number four, where you're seeing the fruits of your labor, basically, like your inner work reflecting outwards. Like how I'm just out here shining in this mean ass energy. I don't give a fuck anymore. I don't. Like, if you think I'm a bitch, fine. At least you won't step all over me, ho. Okay? I do have a potty mouth, but that's just who I am right now. Maybe one day I'll stop. Let's see. Dumavati. Let me close this window and I want to read. I want to read these last two for you. Actually, can we get some, can we get some, some fans on in here? Because it's a little warm. But yeah, y'all, I do not care anymore if people think that I'm mean, suck up, a bitch. I just don't, I don't give a fuck anymore. I literally just don't care. Like, I tried to be all like love and light, but that's not, that's not who any of us are. Like, baby, all the shit that we've been through and you sitting around walking around like, ee. -ee Oh, you should run. If you see a motherfucker like that on online or in real life, like, oh, love and light, fairy, that girl will chop your head off in your sleep because she's not confronting her demons. Sorry to be so aggressive. I said chopping your head off in your sleep. That was, that was really vulgar, but it's real. It's real. People are crazy. Sita. 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 Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Somebody's in here asking for Trump. Honey, are you trying to be racist or something? Because Trump would probably want me to be his reader. The fuck? Sita. Y'all think that Trump gonna come in and save you? and get rid of all the black people. Honey, we are here to stay. It is 2024. If you're still racist, you, you are the problem. 109, 109 could be a relevant number to you. Repetition of the number, something like that. Sita, Sita, Sita. Why am I saying, it? anyways goddess of devotion and loyalty you have devoted your entire self to a person or project i could just throw the book and that's it what have i been talking about y'all fruition manifestation it's here you have devoted your entire self to a person or project and your loyalty cannot be questioned even in the face of harsh treatment you have endured in the name of love Love does not always look like love and light. It's love, dark, and everything in spite, okay? Sita remained loyal to her husband, Ram. Ram, Ram, despite being told he was dead and when another king wanted to marry her. When her husband returned, he did not believe her fidelity. She said, if I'm telling the truth, I will jump into this fire and I will not be burned. Point blank period. If someone wants to call me a B-I-T-C-H just because I don't care what they T-H-I-N-K... It is what it is. Throw me into the fire. Uh, present me to... I wish that I could present myself in front of God, in front of these people that think that they're better than me. Because if I could put money on it, I think he would cherish my authenticity over your false praise of him. Because God can sense false praise too. You do know that you can't trick God, right? You do know that, right? Okay. She stepped into the fire, untouched, proving that she was indeed loyal. Sita understands how much you truly care and the sacrifices you have made. You have displayed selfless devotion, which is one of the most holy things we can do. In serving those you love, you serve the divine. <sighs> Dumavati. I want to read that one too at the bottom of the deck. Give me a second. Give me a second. One one one. Aren't we ending on a divine note? One eleven. The very next page. Wow. Talk about chronological order. So things are unfolding in chronological order as they should. Um, one thing leads to the next. Bada bing, bada boom. It's right here in front of you. Okay. This one, Dumavati. Oh, excuse me. 
goddess of disappointment and letting go. You, my darling, have finally realized that all of the hardships and struggles you faced were brought on your path for a very important reason. They've shaped you to be the person that you are today. Just like uh, Sita had to endure thinking that her husband was dead and she remained loyal through all of that. She kept her head in all of that. That's you. You've... Uh, the struggles you face were brought on your path for a very important reason. They've shaped you to be the person you are today. You have put together the dots on all the most difficult points on your journey and realized that it was all necessary to be here. Now, Dumavati has come to remind you to give thanks to the struggles you faced. They have made you your highest self. Use me as an example because I'm right here. Uh, the early days of my channel comments about people questioning my beliefs and things like it really made me question myself now nothing can make me question myself except for myself period and that's how it should be like it is what it is honey let me get a keyword for y'all let me get a keyword like i said in another group um what did i say oh like how uh you're thinking too much about like people's judgments if other people had never projected onto you or told you who to be or told you how to live or told you what to do, you would never, ever, ever think of yourself beneath yourself. Or you would never question mm, your sanity, your peace, you know, like you wouldn't do that. You would just exist. You would just live. And that's how you're supposed to be. But there's so many people that are not self-reflective, so they're trying to project onto you. Keyword crown chakra i told you what I, what did i say that's purple you probably can't really see it that well but it says discipline purple and that was the first thing that i said with these first two cards that's why amethyst is really important for you at this time amethyst is your bestie right now okay back to the basics back to the basics all right y'all this is all that i have for you thank you for tuning in and um if you don't understand i just want to say this like you could think that being the bigger person is not saying anything and ignoring people like in the comment section. That used to be my truth. That used to be my reality. Thinking like, oh, I'll be the bigger person and ignore them. No, that I don't want to be the bigger person. I want to be myself. And me, myself, if someone comes over and steps on my toes on purpose, I'm going to punch that bitch in the face. Thank you. So I metaphorically did it through the internet. You know, like, I don't care anymore. And I hope you don't either. Bye.